So as 2004 approached, I had already trained as an OBGYN at Georgetown. I had had a chance to practice delivering babies and being in the hospital settings. And I had also had a great opportunity to work on the Safe Motherhood Project under Bill Gates Foundation, which gave me an exposure to the world of midwives and traditional birth attendants. And I started to realize that the toolbox that I had, which was comprised mostly of pharmacy and surgery, really just was not adequate to really cure anything. So at the end of 2004, I began this quest, and it was really a journey for figuring out how we can restore optimal function to the human body so that we can remain healthy, happy, energetic, and free of disease, because we know that the body actually has the capacity to heal itself. This journey led me to use natural hormones and immediately my surgical rate fell about tenfold. Very soon after that, I realized that nutrition was a piece of this picture. And without the adequate nutrients, the hormones wouldn't be activated. For example, thyroid actually needs zinc, selenium, and iodine to be activated. I started to learn about detoxification. So that became the third component. If you allow the body to have a detoxification system that's optimal with the bowel, the liver, the gallbladder, the water system, the kidneys, the skin, the lymphatics, you start to have a system where the hormones and nutrients are actually metabolized properly. Most of these nutrients and hormones are metabolized and absorbed in the bowel and by gut bacteria. And lastly, over the last decade, it became clear that we had to pay attention to the state of the mind, both the subconscious that controls the majority of our health and also the conscious part, and then the oxygenation in the body. With this system, we've been successful in reversing a great deal of disease, I would say over 80 to 85% of the things that walk through our door. So nutrition became a critical part of the success of our program. I started searching for how we were going to correct it. And of course, the first place I went was to food. If you look at what the USDA reported in 1999, they published a 50-year study really showing that the top 34 crop in the United States were over 50% depleted in nutrients. And there's many reasons why, but this becomes very relevant because in order for you to get the same nutrition that you would have gotten from one apple 50 years ago, you would have to eat eight apples right now. One way to solve it was organic food. So I started recommending organic food because that's at least 30 to 40% higher. I started to find that it still wasn't corrected. So that's where supplements come in. Supplements are supplements to our food. Food is always packaged by nature in the natural way that it was meant to be received. When I started looking at supplementation, I knew I had to pick a multivitamin. So I picked a good multivitamin, started measuring things and realized these multivitamins did not have enough zinc to correct things and activate the system, did not have enough selenium, didn't have enough iodine. I started adding bottles and my patients were going home with five bottles. On top of that, Consumer Reports published a study showing that 95% of the supplements on the market are contaminated. So then I started looking for glass bottles, vegetable capsules, no excipients and additives, no dyes, no fillers, no preservative, no magnesium stearate, which decreases absorption and increases a toxic material in the body which has a lot of pesticides in it. A lot of companies are listing this as vegetable stearate. You also wanna make sure that the company is triple testing all of the materials to make sure that you're getting exactly what you're supposed to get and nothing extra. For example, in the number one vitamin in the United States is Centrum. Centrum has at least three dyes in it that are listed on National Cancer Institute's potentially carcinogenic list. Most of the minerals are in the form of oxides. Oxides oxidize the body. That means they rust the body out. The quality is going to determine whether or not it's helping you or whether it's going to hurt you. It became an extreme challenge to find the combination of high enough active 
dosing that would give a result and without all the junk that one wouldn't want. That's what led to the creation of Essentials 5-in-1. Unlike most vitamin mineral formulas on the shelf, we do not use any mineral oxides that damage cells, and we include active forms of B vitamins for immediate results. It also has more active minerals. For example, compared with Centrum Silver, which has oxide minerals, Essentials 5-in-1 has chelated minerals. Compared to Centrum Silver, it has no artificial dyes, fillers, and additives. It has no magnesium stearate, which is a flow agent that improves the manufacturing process but simultaneously decreases absorption. Essentials 5-in-1 is pure. I recommend two capsules at breakfast and two capsules at lunch. Symptoms and conditions that I have found to be supported by Essentials 5-in-1 include energy, mental clarity and memory, mood, metabolism, thyroid, cortisol, and testosterone function. This first step of developing Essentials 5-in-1 eventually led to an entire clinical line based upon the principles. MD Prescriptives was developed as a necessity to help patients minimize the pills while maximizing the effect. And most importantly, the impeccable ethics and integrity and love in formulation, manufacturing, and distributing, which aims for the best product for you.